So I got a special delivery today. It was in my mailbox. Unfortunately, it's really hot where I am. It's almost 100 degrees, but I don't think it was in there for long. And so the box is really small and that's because the plant is rather small. What I realized right away, and I don't know, this always surprises me. I go, oh, okay. The plant shipped bare root. Of course it did. Uh, there's so many regulations about plants being shipped into California, um, whether or not they can come with potting soil. There's lots of um, exceptions for house plants. It's so hard to know though. So I'm getting pretty used to most things coming bare root at this point, and I kind of like it. I think I've shared with you, it makes it a little bit easier to pot. And here it is. This is my philodendron birkin. So you can just see me here putting everything away, checking it out the leaves. They look great. Uh, there's not too many markings on them yet, but I'm sure with maturity, those will start to um, pop up a little bit more. And otherwise, this looks really healthy. It did feel a little warm because again, it was out in my mailbox. So probably, I'm trying to guess how long, but to be honest with you, I would say no more than an hour. And like I said, getting these plants bare root makes it so much easier for me to pot. So I really don't mind. I'm not, you know, standing around just uh, dusting off or trying to gently remove soil from the roots of a rather small plant. And so here you just see me going ahead. I'm using a, my usual organic non-bleached coffee filter to block the drainage hole temporarily while I'm adding in my soil. That was um, a scoop of worm castings. And so that's what I'm using right now in all of my plants. I'm kind of moving away from uh, synthetic fertilizers because a lot of the plants I have, you can see the roots here look really good. Not a very large root system, but not a very large plant yet. And again, so yeah, I'm moving away from the synthetic fertilizers mostly because a lot of the plants that I have are very sensitive. And so you can get fertilizer burn, you end up seeing that um, in damage to the plant, you see it in the leaves. And it's something that I really, I just wanna avoid. And so less and less I'm using synthetic fertilizers and more and more I'm using things like worm castings. And the nice thing about worm castings, you can't use too much, this type of plant food. Um, you know, you're not going to get any burn on your plant from it. And so you can kind of go wild. So here what you're gonna see me do is I'm kind of adjusting the soil. I'm just gonna top dress the, this philodendron with, um, some more worm castings before going ahead and watering and just kind of, you know, moving it around so it's a nice layer on top as well as in the soil itself. I do add worm castings, uh, amending a lot of the soil that I make up, the potting mix that I make up with it. However, you know, it is growing season, so right now I'm top dressing all of my plants and anything that I'm planting is getting extra worm castings. So uh, with all of my plants, uh, that are tropical, I do tend to add um, kind of to their regimen like a distilled water. I really try to avoid um, tap water here because the tap water is actually really, really hard on plants where I'm at. So, and you can see this is what it looks like. It's nice and healthy. Um, it's fitting very well in its new pot and I'm happy. This is the second plant that I've got for my new plant room. I hope that you've enjoyed the video. Until next time, be well and take care.